Hi guys, it's Ivan from the Tesla Stock Channel here, and in this episode, we'll be looking at Tesla sales data from the month of July. So let's get straight into it. In the month of July, it was business as usual for Tesla in the United States, with the Model 3 again taking top spot with a wide margin. And we see the same picture when looking at 2019 total sales, with the Model 3 selling 81,000 cars. And props to the Chevy Bolt and Nissan Leaf for consistently making the top 5 and beating out the so-called Tesla killers, like the Audi e-tron and Jaguar I-Pace. And speaking of the Tesla killers, let's see how they have fared against Tesla so far this year, and it's been a pretty dismal performance, to be honest. Now get this, in the United States, Tesla sells on average more Model 3s in 7 days than Audi e-tron sells in 7 months. So tough times ahead for the Audi e-tron and the short sellers, claiming that competition is going to doom Tesla. Next, I want to share something interesting that I noticed. We all know Tesla sales surge in the final month of each quarter. So I compared the July to the first month of Q1 and Q2 to see how we compare and just look at the numbers. Remember, Q2 of 2019 was a record-breaking quarter, so the fact that we are 3,500 sales ahead in the first month of Q3 is a fantastic sign and gives me confidence that this could be another record-breaking quarter. In China, the world's largest EV market, Overall, sales numbers took a large hit in July as the Chinese government ended some subsidies, but interestingly enough, the Model 3 still had 1,800 sales and was the 6th best selling EV in China, which shows just how strong demand is for the Model 3 when Chinese consumers are buying it now as opposed to waiting 6 months to buy a locally made lower cost Model 3. And just know, if you're interested in the Chinese EV market and want to see how the Tesla Model 3 compares to Chinese EVs, feel free to check out the following episode, the link will be in the description. And just as a heads up, we're working on a new Tesla China video, which we'll be releasing soon that will cover production, revenue and profit estimates based on recent developments, so keep an eye out for that one. Moving on to Europe, and we start off with Norway, the world's leader in EV adoption. And I wanted to point out that so far in 2019, 12.5% of new cars sold are Tesla Model 3s, which means one in every eight cars sold is a Tesla Model 3. Not to mention, these numbers could further improve as the lower cost standard range version is starting to arrive in Norway. In Sweden, Model 3 sales have had another solid month in July with 453 sales. And I saw an interesting chart on Clean Technica which shows that the Model 3 is the 10th best selling car in Sweden in overall sales in July of 2019. So the demand in Sweden is looking strong and likely to get stronger in the coming months. Moving on to the Netherlands, we can see a pattern merging in which the final month of each quarter results in huge deliveries. But when we compare July to the first month of Q2, which remember was a record breaking quarter, we can see a substantial improvement. So things are definitely looking good in the Netherlands. Moving on to France, and I haven't yet seen any sales numbers for July. So I'll use this opportunity to answer Stefan's question, who asked, how well is the e-tron doing in France, and have they sold a single one yet? And if you don't know what e-tron means in France, just look it up. So to answer your question, I did some research and found that the Audi e-tron did not make the top 20 selling plug-in cars in France throughout 2019. In 20th place was the Tesla Model S, selling a total of 296 cars in total of 2019. So that means that the Audi e-tron has anywhere between 0 and 295 sales in France. And my guess is that that number would be closer to 0 than 295. But I'll keep an eye out and see if I can find the official figures. Next up is Germany, and in general, we can see that EV sales are steadily increasing, with a major spike in March of 2019 when the Model 3 made its debut, and now we seem to be getting up to those highs again and ready to push higher. And in other news relating to Germany, it's looking more and more likely that Germany will be the choice for the European Gigafactory, with speculation that the site will be in Lower Saxony. This would actually be a great idea for Tesla, as they'll be able to employ a large number of skilled German engineers, as Germany has a large auto manufacturing sector. But best of all, just look at the location. It's very central. To the north, you have Denmark, Sweden and Norway. To the west, you have Belgium, the Netherlands, France and England. 
to the east you have Poland, the Czech Republic, Slovakia and Hungary, and to the south you have Austria, Italy and Switzerland. So they'll be able to save substantial costs and time in shipping once complete. Speaking of Switzerland, the Model 3 was the fourth best selling car across Switzerland and Liechtenstein thus far in 2019, and showing that the Model 3 is starting to take some real market share away from their gas powered competitors. So wherever you look, demand seems to be very strong, regardless of what the media is telling you. In the UK, we mentioned that Model 3 deliveries were starting in mid-June, but I've still not heard much news regarding sales numbers. Australia and New Zealand on the other hand, are scheduled to receive their first Model 3 deliveries in late August. And you know the excitement is building, as I have seen multiple reports of people taking photos and reporting of the cargo ship that is delivering the Model 3s, which is something I've never seen for any other product. And in other news from Australia, the Tesla Model 3 just received the highest possible 5 star rating from the Australian New Car Assessment Program, so all in all, another great month for Tesla and we look forward to the August numbers. So that's all for today, but stay tuned as we have a number of really interesting episodes coming up. And a huge thank you to our new Patreon, Pavel, and the rest of our Patreons for supporting us and helping us grow this channel. So that's all for today, and we'll catch you guys soon.